Say the Kings 3 with your boy, whoever the hell we're playing as now. I can't remember. Jeevan Stobbs, because during yesterday's episode, we accidentally got Jerusalem, um, which is common complaint I hear in the medieval times. Uh, as a quick aside, I did leave this as a comment on the other series for those of you who are watching it, but the Myanmar series, because of the constant updates and constant patches, I just simply don't have enough time right now to mod and fix and merge all the mods for both modded series uh, when Paradox are releasing basically daily friggin' patches right now. So I'm putting that one on, on a basically permanent, suspended, temporary, permanent hold. Um, chances are, when things are stable, we'll go back to the mother of all achievement first, get that one dealt with, then maybe we'll look at going back to BMR after that, depending on how we feel. See if you guys are still into it. If, if so, we can go back. If not, fuck it. No real, real big problem there. Blim Paradox for that, um, because they've released a patch every day for the past three days, and it's just too much. It's just too many mods to juggle, brother. So here we are in Jerusalem with your boy, Jeevan Stobbs. So, the plan then, very straightforward. Um, we, because of our uh, dynasty legacy that our father, Jeff Bezos, bought for us, um, we were able to get 32 on marriage acceptance, which meant that we've been able to marry and ally ourselves to big old Biz himself. Uh, which means that basically whoever takes over Venice next, we get to... Uh, we, we get to, to, to take it back, you know, to take back our father's land because unfortunately his heir is just not saving. Um, and again, I, 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 I'll reiterate this many, many times because people keep fucking asking me. Uh, I knew that was part of the, that was part of the difficulty. The mod author says it on the page that the Republics are very, very difficult to play because you have to find a way to get a succession outside of the Republic. You know, you've got a character to use these really powerful Republics however you want. And then after that, you know, you've, you've got to try and find a way to flip. We got extremely lucky and got Jerusalem on a silver platter. So this is incredible. Um, what I'm thinking, we, we, we want to try and get to, um, to, to diplomatic range before he dies, right? So that whoever takes over, we can swoop in and take it away straight away. How are we doing on the conversion? It's going to take another... Uh, Where's the year, 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 years gone? Where's the years gone? The years have disappeared. There were years. There are no longer any years. Paradox, what have you done? Uh. <laughs> well, since yesterday, they've apparently removed the years remaining uh, bar on that, which is helpful. Oh, it's just not converting. Okay. Um, if I cancel that, is that going to... If I... If I cancel that... Oh, no. Uh, okay. Hang on. Again, more mod-related concerns, more, more issues, more problems here. We'll cross that hurdle in a second. Angelina Money. Um, I'm going to call you uh, Jangel, Jan, Jan, J, 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 Jangle, Jangelina, um, Jangelina uh, uh, Aeoli, like the garlic. That's not how you spell it, but, you know, it's close enough. Um, yeah, what's going on there? We, we can't convert. Maybe there's, a, there's an actual game mechanic for it's not a bug. It's very hard to tell when, obviously, you start a save game two patches ago, and now uh, everything's a lot bit weird. Um, no, 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 I don't care about that too much. 67.7%. Yeah, he's actually not converting that at all, is he? Why? We've got full control. Um, further, it's 100%. Oh, that might be it. Okay, fair enough. Sod it then. We don't need to worry about that anyway. We've got bigger fish to fry, and that's, of course, our... Oh, we can fabricate climb all the way up in the paper seat. Oh, probably not recommended. Uh... We could go for, like, this one, Salerno. Um, we can't reach Salerno. Okay, can we reach... We can reach that one that's Byzantium. Oh, we can reach those because they're Byzantium, right? And, of course, you're always within diplomatic range of the papacy because it's the Pope. Right, so we are going to have to go somewhere in Africa again. I still think, like, this one here, Barker. We'll go for that one. Um, and then we'll hop over. That should put us within diplomatic range of Venice, I would assume. I mean, it's, it's basically right there. You can probably see it from there. What have we got for lunch in the Diplomat Lifestyle Focus Tree. Uh, we have Thicker Than Water. Personal Scheme Success Chance 25% against family members. You, Uh, I don't like that. Um, uh, go on. Okay, we'll go for, we'll start adding towards Friendly Council again, because that's always super, super powerful, and it'll mean that, you know, we've befriended, uh, the, the Seljuk Sultan already, keeping him on board. We'll try and make friends with Byzantium as well, just so they've got... Bear in mind, just because we're allies on, like, CK2, you're not essentially forced into going to war. He might still decline it, depending on how much he likes us. So, um, I genuinely thought I read something about milk then, and I don't think I did. Here's what I'm going to do. We're just going to skip over it, and not even pretend that that's where anybody's mind went to. The lure of language. Ruling the multicultural kingdom of Jerusalem comes with its own set of challenges. We're going to learn the Egyptian language. Do we not learn Norwegian? 
uh, yesterday, and now we're learning... Oh, we've got... Oh, it actually lists confidants there. Or oh, four confidants? Wait, what's the point of that? Um... Oh, I actually didn't know that. So the more people you speak to with the confider trait, the lower your stress gain is. But I guess the more people are likely to get secrets. But we haven't done anything wrong, so I don't care about that. Fine. Um, let's do it. Do you want to hire a tutor? Absolutely not. Can't afford a... Okay, well, I guess I can. I mean, there's a good chance we're given diplomacy lifestyle experience. You know, I'm not going to take the gamble on that one. Do you want to upgrade Jerusalem? We're going to hang on to Jerusalem, right? When we... When we go back to Venice... You know what? Let's hold on to the cash for the time because it could be useful to have mercenaries kind of ready to pounce just in case, I don't know, Fatimid to come for us. We get a, um, a jihad declared against us because we are pretty much prime target number one right now, huh? Our daughter, you can become um, impatient, shy, or gluttonous. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Um, what are we training her in? Learning? I mean, shy is probably the, the optimal one there, right? A gluttonous? Big old, big old piggy. Nope. Okay, we'll go for, we'll go for Shire then. There you are. Easy. That's all it takes, brother. You hire a tutor two weeks later. Egyptian. Easy. One in the bag. Very nice. New perk for the diplomacy lifestyle. Friendly council. I suppose we could go down to Patriarch and then after that flip over, grab golden obligations. Maybe by that point, we'll even have Venice. So we could probably start going into Architect, right? I think that's a good plan. Um, I did change his hat, by the way, because I think it suits the rest of his outfit. Matches really nicely. Keeps his little ears warm during the winter, which I don't know if... Jerusalem has particularly harsh winters, but there you go. His ears are going to be warm either way. Maybe a little bit too warm. Greetings, my lady. Just come to my attention that your Archbishop Munio has worked to fabricate a spurious claim. Jeffrey, you are a liar. Uh, you're a king by right, not by greed. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate your your, uh, your your very kind and just words. Thank you for getting in my affairs. Oh, to the cocky King Jeevan Stobbs. Uh, we will not stand for your vile oppression that the faithful allow is any longer. Our time is now at hand. With Allah guarding us, we will rise to free ourselves from your infidel rule. Uh, what if we adopted your ways instead? That sounds like a terrible idea. Fine, I've no need for some cross of subject. Use Accra, Irbid, Jerusalem, and Suakin. Or you want freedom, you shall have it in death. Uh, I don't think they will, brother, because they've got a lot of men. Well, this is exactly why I'm glad I saved the dollar reduce. Though, to be fair, we should win this, right? Um, let's bring you over there. Raise. Oh, because we've got our holy warriors, too. Yeah, this should be a, uh, an absolute wipeout. Right. What are we looking at? Oh, look at this. No question. Get fucking roasted. Level of dedication to our faith as well. You're welcome. We did just defend the Holy Land there. Is that it? Hello? Oh, you're down there. <laughs> um, so you are. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, we better go and better go and stop them. We didn't have to embark that. That was unnecessary, but that's fine. Uh, present my claim on Barker or all of the Sulam. Well, the Sulamid. Solomon Emirate. Hang on, 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 hang on. Touch your level title. Is he independent? He is. 1,000. Yeah, done. All of it will be mine. Absolutely. I am king by night, right? Not by greed, except for right then. Uh, okay, where are they going? Back into the back into the water, brother. Right. Keep an eye on those horses. I just watched them. What the hell? <laughs> well, that was cursed. Um, where have they disappeared to? Beatrice comes of age, astute intellectual. Brilliant. Well done. Uh... What? Sorry, was that two dwarf lovers? My god, the one time I'm sad about skipping over that. What the hell was going on there? Dwarf lovers. No, she's just really short. Uh, okay, reasonable. Um, I'm going to be blackmailing all of these people. We've got... Um, we, we've got our spy master in Constantinople right now, just digging up secrets, which is why I want golden obligations, because they are full of gold over there. Oh. Um, a hashish? A little bit of a hashish? A little taste a bit of hashish? Cucumber paste. Sorry, gotta make sure I, you know, make a point of uh, of that on YouTube. Let's also have some more. Double dose. Still stressing them out. Good God. Um. Ugh. Where are these bloody rebels? Wait, I'm not a rebel. I don't think he even knows where he is. Oh, there he is. Aha. Gotcha. You fall right into my trap. Well, which I mean, <laughs> which I mean, I uh. Plan this all along. Wow, did you see that battle then? That was cool. That's a mod that does that, by the way. That's not that's not base game anymore. Um, I've got what the mod's called. Everything's linked in the obviously in the description, so should be fairly easy to find. Um, invite some knights. Yeah, I think I will do that, seeing as we're fairly low on the knight front. Nine hundred thirty-one gold. Right now, you're dead as dicks. Well, uh, I can just go to war with you, allies. Inferior. What's his allies? He does have allies. Specifically that man there and that man there. But we have Byzantium if we want to bring them in. Um, I don't think it'll be necessary. If we, what, what, uh, How much is it going to cost to call them in? 
750 prestige because he hears big old Basil. Um, let's not worry about it for the timing. I don't think it's necessary. Um, we'll just let our troops reinforce for a little bit. That's quite cool. I wonder, I wonder if they'll ever add something like that to the base game. See, the armies are made up of like multiple troops now rather than just one dude. That is quite fun. Okay. Um, so we're just going to hang around here, to be honest with you, and let them come to us because they almost certainly will. Um, not Duke Constantinos II's child heritage secret. Unbelievable. They never have gotten out. Oh, God, we just made friends with him. And then he fucking died. Incredibly selfish. Um, that's how, yeah, let's actually have a feast. There we are. Stress is gone. Then we get a... Oh, come on. Do you think we get a higher level of Reveler? No, not quite, unfortunately. Right, let's start moving over. Caref. Oh, okay. I didn't want to want to do that, but that's okay. That's fine. I've literally never wanted to embark in my life. Get a new perk for the diplomacy lifestyle. That was, that was worth the embarkment money we spent there. Sorry, did I say three years left? Oh, to be fair, it is Alexandria. Sorry, can I see the siege? Thank you. Three years left. Yep, we're good. Thank you. Moving on. No! What the fuck is with this embarking? Is it to avoid attrition? I don't want that. I'm not willing to spend that much money just to avoid six dudes? I saw seahorses then. You can't tell me I'm... You can't tell me I'm making that up. There, there were seahorses. There, there they are again. They're playing polo. What are they doing? How are you going to win that? Uh, Better army commander, more army traits, higher... High quality. No, that's not true. Uh, no, that's not true at all. Okay. Are you our best commander then? I assume it always puts the best one on. It does indeed. Uh, shit. That's quite annoying, isn't it? Um, I don't want to call in the Basilius if we can avoid it. To be completely honest. Um, okay, give me a second. Let's... Let's just come round. I know I said I was trying to avoid embarking, but trust me on this one. Yeah, I guess some hit and run tactics going here. That actually looks really cool. If they've done that custom for this, rather than just lifting it from something else, that's, a, that's a quite an impressive, quite an impressive amount of effort that's gone into that. Right. Okay. Those guys are roasted. Nice work. Um. So who the hell are those other guys? Hostile army. Are we hostile to you? Why? You're allied to. Oh. Oh. They're probably here also for the same war goal. Uh. If I had to guess. Hang on. Yes, they are. Oh, that's annoying. Um, oh, we're both doing the same war. Holy War for the Emirate of of wherever that is. Right, we need to be bloody fast then, don't we, with our sieging? Okay, um, fair enough. Let's get up to the capital. That pretty much gives us this one on a silver platter. I'm going to avoid fighting the, the Byzantines if possible. We could call them into our war. <laughs> uh, we might have to, depending... If they get too far in their war, if they get to like 90%, I'll probably just spend the prestige to call them in. Interesting. Chances are even. We have more soldiers, but they have higher... Okay, well, let's see how it goes then. Minus two to us straight off the bat. There we go. We've got it. Not a problem. Sending in reinforcements. Oh, they might just push it back. No, they are good. Right, see, now we're really vulnerable. Um, <sighs> That's quite annoying. Okay, well, we'll just sit around then. Let them counter siege. There we go. 90% war score right there. If we can grab this one, it's over. If we're fast, maybe, maybe the Byzantines will come back and get distracted again. Come on. Fast as you can. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, can we take this before they take that? Eight months. Well, they can't when they're fucking around like that. We may have this. Come on, be fast, be fast. Look, they're, they're all distracted up there. That's not our concern. Great work. Secret exposed, thank you. Everybody knows, don't really care. How are we looking? Three months left. We've just got to hope no one turns up within that three-month period. Uh, my lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. My court physician, Millicent, holds me back. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rushes and bumps, rest upon his table. Enemy comes into contact with the corpse, risks infection, and I was planning on that we would take it close to, um, Phoasia, the holding of Duke Constantius. Uh, we can lob a corpse at this dwarf, uh, and give him smallpox. Say no more. Easy. That's an easy decision. And, come on. There we go. That was bloody fortunate, huh? To be honest, I don't think we would have won that if we didn't have... Uh... Are they going to go to war with me now? Um, we've got the Wadan Conquest of, of wherever this is. What? Oh, is that Byzantium's called us in? She didn't have where? Oh, they want this from... Oh, there he is. I don't know why it pointed him over there. Maybe he's in a different war entirely. Okay, we should be able to win this one and get a little bit of war reparation from it. We've apparently got allies coming in as well. Alexandria? God knows what the hell's going on with that. Oh, 100% already. That was fast. Um, done. Very nice. Okay. 
So the question is now, bloody hell. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just catch up here a second. Um, call a hunt. Yep, absolutely. And to council position, welcome aboard. Right. Um... With Patriot, we'll now flip over it to Wealth Focus. Try and get Golden Obligations ASAP. Uh, ransom you out. Yeah, I don't really care about you. Prisoners can be ransomed. Oh, we got a lot of them. Hey, there we go. Not that we really need gold desperately, but it'd be quite nice to pay off this war. We ride. Someone steady. That cliff looks steep. Yeah, we ride. Prestige. Prestige above above death. There we go. Come on. Good kill. Give me, give me the hunter trait. The hunt ends. To be fair, I think we've only done one before, so I won't, won't hold my breath too much with that one. We can create a cadet branch, but I feel like that's unnecessary, seeing as we're going to be able to... We'll become househead whenever our father died. Okay, so where did, who got Venice then? Yeah, there you go. So it's Vil, Vil, Vilfredo Jizzy, um, who is apparently a pretentious, grumpy, compassionate man. Um, excuse me? <laughs> ah, who's head of our house now then? Um, dynasty, dynasty, dynasty. Duchess Mariana of Lombardy? What? Cultural, oh, cultural head, you idiot. Um, Count Jill Bates, our brother. He's head of, head, of our, head of our family, but he's only had one kid. His wife's 57. That's it. I mean, it's going to go to his daughter, who is then going to lose it. Okay, we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to kill anyone. We don't have to go against our family here. That's not a concern. The question is, can we take back Venice? Um, let's drop our troops to start off with. Right. We have a claim. There's no reason not to. Our claim. Take the contested title. They're vastly inferior. Now, it says that, but bear in mind, they do have a lot of bonuses because they are they are Venice, after all. Um, let's go ahead and have a chat with our confidants. Very nice. And then the second we can have another, fe uh, another feast, we'll, we'll probably do that. Should we go for... Go on. Let's keep the stress down because this guy being diligent is uh, definitely keeping it a little bit on edge. Right. This is what today is really all about. Returning home to our mighty land of Venice, the grand city of Venice, the metropolis, where we can finally build wonder after wonder after wonder, a city of wonder, city of light, city of magic. Right, so you, my friend, are dead as all dicks. Um, problem is we've got to go for an island landing, so ideally we need to bait their troops out. So we could attack Veneto first, see if we can get their troops off of Venice. I'll, I'll turn if we go for like a pool or something. We can just call in the Byzantines too. I think I'm going to call in the Byzantines on this one. How ironic. They were bringing in the Byzantine Empire to, to knock out to knock out Venice instead. Uh, I'm looking for allies. Bring. Join me. Jill Bates. We're going home, brother. Can't be an ally. Oh, he's, of course he's a vassal. Oh, man, that's a shame. We might have to fight our brother because of legal obligations. If, is he a man of honor? Will he actually stick with it? We'll see how it goes. Um, um, he died at the age of 76, just of old age. What a life he lived, huh? A life of money. A life of a life of family, a life of, of friendship and revelry. He he was a great guy. I he lived a fantastic life, huh? Of course I would join him in this war. First Jolan's fear the men's in the Byzantine Empire. Thank you, Basilius. Probably didn't need you. Thought it was worth you know, might as well be worth doubling down, huh? Um We had an outbreak of bubonic plague, at which point one person died. I feel like the word outbreak probably needs a bit of reassessment there, fella. Oh <laughs> Um Stress level two out of three. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, okay. Um, fucking hard memories. Or oh, Kuniyid will, will support me. Cortier opinion minus five. I don't really care about that. Go for it. Um, is there anything else we can do? No. Search for a physician. Um, well, let's notify these when available because that's that's quite essential now. We've got to be very careful with what we're doing here. Um, I did do that specifically for the reason that we would get a bunch of hooks on people. And hopefully, in, in turn, a shitload of payment when we actually land in Venice, we could start immediately returning to our homeland by building a wonder, which I think would be awesome. You know what? They sent their armies onto mainland Italy. I was not expecting that. Um, let's see if we can catch them then and see if we can kill them dead. Okay. Uh, that'll do it. We will probably win. Better army commander, more soldiers, higher quality, defending amounts is more men at arms counter. That alone is not going to make their battle. Oh, you know what? They had good advantage there. Wow. That was a surprise. All we've got to do is land on Venice. Let's be reasonable here. So their, their troops, we've taught them a lesson. They're probably not going to do much damage now. Uh, especially not with Byzantium kicking around too. Can we even siege Venice? How long is this going to take? Six years potentially. We've just got to hope for some good rolls here. There we go. That's what we like to see. Our sister, Julie Cock, died. Uh, that's fine. And our brother was taken prisoner. Jill Bates. Oh, so Jill Bates was taken prisoner by the Basilius. That's probably for the best. 
because it means he's not going to die in war. We can keep him on as a vassal. He likes us. We'll give him a gift. You know, there you go. He left the, he left the prison. He's fine. He's alive. He's out of the war. That's all I could care about. 99%. This is going to be just a case of grabbing the capital now. We might even get ticking war score, depending on if the Basilius grabs like Aprila or something like that. Three years remaining and 100%. Luckily, he did actually grab something there. Thank you very much. 300 fame, and we share 300 prestige with our allies. More importantly, we're home. Back to Venice. Do we actually get the kingdom title? We do. I think we should make that our primary title, huh? There we go. Look at that. Back to I love our wife's hat. That's incredible. Here we go. And can we revoke that, please? Uh, revoke title. Um, I want Venice. I have a common title allowing me to revoke about being a tyrant. He's going to say no, at which point I'm going to destroy him again. Uh, actually, you know what? We don't have to raise him there, do we? Let's go ahead and drop our rally point. Oh, right. Of course, he's already got Benito as well. We got... Uh, there we go. That's what we're after. Now we'll stop him again. No, 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 no. Sorry, you misunderstand. I don't want any troops raised over there, fella. Right. There we go. Good as new. Uh, or not. He died of unknown causes. Oh my god. So he had just some some health problem. Just some undiagnosed health problem. Ripe old age of 43. He, his father almost outlived him. <laughs> Staggering. Alright, well here we go then. Talk about thrusting at the deep end. At war, just to try and revoke Venice and then we'll make it our new capital. Um, Steve Job of Jerusalem. The diplomat. I mean, he's an incredible diplomat. You can't deny that. How old is he? 25. Okay, so we've got this guy for quite a long time. So let's, let's build him as we normally would. Um, ah, shit. Just the second we get this stuff, we're all set back again. Um, let's go back to golden obligations off the bat here. Because in our army, that's right. It's Jill Bates. Incredible. He's back. He's back, to, he's back to help out. Back to help his family take back our rightful territory. Six years on the Siege of Venice. Fucking hell. Um, invite knights. We might as well, whenever we can, host a feast. Why not? Go on then. Okay. We might as well. Um, elector for Venice, because of course it is feudal elective. Um, our sister, our aunt, our uncle, our Oh, this is better. Right, it's actually working now. Um, so we can just elect based on, on really which one of our family members came out the best. Uh, our brother, Prince Replacement Steve, not doing too badly for himself there. Could be quite high on the list. Our sister isn't bad either. Um, is that guy married? Married with kids, yet yeah, neither of them are good. He's the one that married the... Right, the Basilius' daughter. Um, do we have to re... We can call on our ally. Um, I didn't know if we had to renegotiate there, but it looks like we're all good. Okay, then. I actually might call him in. Do we... Uh, we could just sit here and be patient, but it's going to cost us a little bit of dollar, I guess. Oh, for God's sake. And then he died. So the war's invalid. For freaking hell. Okay, here we go. Who has Venice now, then? I can't tell you because it's only let me clip my bloody army. Hey, get out of here. What are you doing? Spend all. Right, here we go. Um, now it's Doge Andrea of Venice, who is apparently an impulsive, shy, compassionate man. Um, I'd really like my title back, fella. Grand City, he might accept. I'd like the whole Republic, to be honest with you. Um, 30% might accept. Let's just... What if we just raise troops in in Venice, just kind of preemptively? What if we just sit in there? 29%. Go on, rebel. See if I care. Yep, thought you might. Uh, St. George, protect us. Oh, God. War declared. Oh, no. <laughs> um, probably now is a good time to... Probably now is a good... Oh, I thought they might do that. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, so we've got War Against the Tyranny of, of Steve Job. Right, got it. Um, which we should start sieging. Oh my god, hang on. We should start sieging now. There we go, problem solved. Um, then we've got the Jihad of the Fatimid Sultanate, which is going to annihilate us. And then we've got Holy Wolf, the Duchy of Bazin. Um, what the hell is the Duchy of Bazin? Um, hello, what are you after? Uh, let's take a look. Oh, this stuff again. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, okay, so this one, we'll surrender out because we just don't care. We don't lose anything. It's just one of those random titles again. Um, right, okay, so this one we quite literally cannot win um, unless we call in the Byzantines. Are they already in? Did they, did they join? Oh, they're already in. Okay. Uh, somehow they've got less troops. 
<laughs> we got 31,000. Oh, that's fine. Nubias joins uh, the Byzantines have joined. We got 21 allies. We should be okay because they're all coming to defend the Holy Land. So I think we'll ignore that and focus on Venice, right? Fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Uh, they all seem to be dogpiling on Venice, which is just really not helping uh, when this is a completely irrelevant war that they can't help out. J leave. Please get off this island. For Christ's sake, you people aren't helping. You're just attritioning my troops down. Leave. For God's sake, what are they playing at? <laughs> There's a jihad. Did you hear over in Jerusalem? Let's go sit in Venice for the next few years. You morons. We've got four years left on this. They've actually... Uh, they've just attritioned my soldiers down so far now that we cannot continue with the siege. Uh, and that we're at minus 67% with the war against Venice. I, I, oh god, sometimes this fucking game. Okay. <laughs> um, give me those guys. Hiya, join me, join me, join me, join me, join me. Right, run, 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 run. Get over here as fast as you can. Um, this is quite literally a death sentence, but what the fuck else can I do? As long as we don't abandon the siege, we should just be able to, yeah, that's it. Fuck off, get out. But this game just sucks sometimes. It's, it's just like, this is a fucking mess. I, I don't care about almost all of these armies. I just don't care. And I can't siege Venice because if we land in Venice, they attrition our troops down and then we die. And then we can't siege Venice. It's it's just unfathomable how ridiculous this game is being. I don't fucking... I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to surrender out all these walls. I don't care. Surrender. Take it. Don't care. Uh, Jihad. Don't care. Take it. Boom. Done. Right. Where do I live now? Where do we live? We've just got that. Fine. Done. Don't care. It's either that or we can't get Venice because we're going to lose the claims if this guy deposes us. Unbelievable. Right, now I can actually focus on my freaking war. Minus the thousands of troops pissing around. Oh, we've actually just taken Venice. Oh, did we usurp it? Oh, thank God. Well, there we go. Problem solved, huh? <laughs> my God. Your dishonor comes at a cost. Yeah, you know what? Good. Fucking good. Excuse me. I've... I'm pretty much done with that. Everything I needed with that is uh, basically said and done. We've got the Duchy of Palestine, which I don't really, really want. Just gonna give that out. Uh, who would like? Who would like the Duchy of Palestine or yours, my friend? And then you know what? You know what? Go free. Go free. How do I make him independent? Grant, grant independence no longer be. Oh, we're at war. Right. Okay. We have got to finish the the war with Venice. I don't know what exactly they've got left now. Just Veneto, I assume, which we've got besieged. What do you guys have left? Um, something down, Aprila. Uh, uh, nope. What have you guys got left? Um, hello. Oh, troops in Jerusalem. Brilliant. God, let this be the end of it. Crusade. Oh my God, for where? That's Spain, right? Okay. It, you, you can't make me another Crusader King. <laughs> right, let's get, let's deal with Venice first, huh? And then we'll, boom, there you go. Right. 100% Venice. Revoke title, Republic of Venice, mine. Revoke title, Grand City, boom, mine. Okay, my friends, everything is sorted. We are somehow as good as new. Um, except for the fact that now we're going to go deal with a bloody crusade. So there, there's that going for us. Uh, let's do it. Last time we fought in a crusade, we did incredibly well. Good news. The crusade is over before I even got there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so this time, unfortunately, no free kingdom level title. But we do have Venice back under our control. A feudal Venice with all the bonuses of the Republic, all the bonuses of the Metropolis. Everything we built before is back ours again. We just need to get some control over it. The Doge's Palace back under our control. Normally a Republic exclusive building. But because we are the mighty money dynasty, the founders of Venice, not really, uh, the previous owners of Venice, we've still got a key to the front door. So we're allowed back in. Uh, then we've got tax successes and whatever else. But now we can really begin with... Uh, a pure city of wonders, which I'm looking forward to. I'm, I don't know quite how we're going to afford it quite yet. Um, but we'll just see how it goes, really. I think the first thing we need to do is obviously get it all on lockdown, don't we? So let's get Venice proper on lockdown. Um, let's get you increasing development. Probably not necessary, but we might as well might as well see it through. Wow, development goes up fast here. And to celebrate the first feast of the money dynasty returning to their homeland of Venice. How did our uncle get on? Um... Uncle Jill Bates, how did he die? Died from his wounds? No. I hope that was from the Crusade and not from our... Our war. When was that? Uh, 1121. Oh my god, it was probably about the right time, wasn't it? 
Holy shit, we took Venice back, but at what sick cost? Wow, Uncle Jill Bates is dead. Our father, Jeevan Stobbs, died of, I assume, a, a stress-induced heart attack. And now there's us. Grandfather, we've returned home, but my god, there were there were consequences. Let's also have a hunt. I think, you know what, with this character, let's just go pure decadence for a little while. Hunts and feasts and lifestyles and sitting around, minding our own business, building Venice up to be the province it should be. Just, just kind of minding our own business for a while. I think it's the right way to go about it. Are there any other tax buildings to build? Uh, technically the walls and towers, but it's probably not really worth it. Uh... Actually, I don't know. Bear in mind, we've got all those other holding uh, bonuses from... Actually, you can upgrade the Metropolis itself. No. Holy shit. So we've got... we're only a great city right now. So it starts off town, city, great city. Metropolis 1, 11,000 gold. Then we've got Metropolis 2. Wow. And then we've got Metropolis 3, followed by Megalopolis, which is absurd. Development growth, 70%. That one's only 800 uh, 807. What? Grid cost 807. I don't quite understand that. Oh, upgrade cost. Oh, is that saying the total cost? Um, what a minute. I'm not entirely sure. Not that it really matters. We can't, we can't afford it either way. Spend 110 to get cooperative stonemasons. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Building construction cost minus 10%. Construction time minus 25%. I'm up for that. And it's a great idea. That, if we go for the rest of the architect tree as well, is going to stack up. This guy, you know, Venice has been ravaged by war. He's taken a lot of hits. We've lost a lot of control over it. The taxes are in the toilet right now. It's up to this guy to restore it to, to what his grandfather left behind. Oh, good lord. Why is everything red? Hello. Independence war. Bohemond of Tuscany has declared independence. Look at that. Got full-on battlefield jewels there. I mean, it is really cool. Again, I really hope this is something they made fresh for, for CK3 rather than just lifting it from, like, a strategy game. But that's that's awesome. They've done a really good job with that. Hey, it's back under our control then. 11 gold per month. That's not too terrible. Not not as great as it used to be, but of course, we're not technically a, a republic government anymore. Um, so you are working on control. Going to take another seven years. It's fine. What can we get our marshal to do then? We might as well go for mana arms maintenance, try and save ourselves a bit more a bit more gold. And then we do have a castle over here too that we could start upgrading. But besides that, we're basically back to square back to square one, but obviously with a way to not get a game over. Um Apuila, who's that under right now? I told uh Jill Bates' daughter. Okay, fair enough. What about their Oh no. She married non matrilinearly, so they're gonna lose that. Okay, we might want to fabricate and get that back at some point. We've also got the county of Kamada as well, all the way down there. Should we try the um so this is the mod that adds the crafting system. I haven't seen any of the mods yet to piggyback off of it. I'm I'm keeping an eye out because this is gonna be quite great when they finally finish it. Um be able to choose the type of artifact I wish to have forged and what type of item I desire. Let's see what they've added then. Do you want a weapon, a suit of armor, or jewelry? So they it seems like they've ported just the CK2 system over then, huh? Um should we go for a suit of armor? Keep ourselves alive. Beautiful jewelry. Seems a bit more Venetian though, doesn't it? Yeah, let's go for that then. See what that's about. Um, rarity 1, artifact rarity 2, or I only want the best. Rarity 3, 235 gold. Wow. Go on then. Let's see what we've got. We can't upgrade. You know, we're, we're in the middle of, uh... We're in the middle of upgrading Venice anyway, so it's not as if we can spend the money anywhere else. Unless we want to spend on those other crappy promises. Right, go on then. Let's see what you've got for me. Development growth in Ram Capital, 0 0.3 per month. Thank you very much. Give me my jewels. That's not that's not her. That's a that's a club footed daughter. Famous woman billionaire? How about uh TK Growling, which couldn't be any more appropriate these days. There we are. TK Growling of Venice. Well, what was what were his other kids called? Because this guy Felicia? Anterio? Steve Job? Jeevan <laughs> Stobbs? Oh my god, what a confusing household. And uh, Maria. So two patrilineal names of the rest of all just been random random names thrown their way again. Okay, I'll make an effort to rename all of those. Uh, oh my god, look at all this stuff going on. I'll make an effort to rename all of those at some stage so that we're not surrounded by, you know, these, these non-affluent and important names. Uh, we won. Also, the Scandinavians were formed. Um, Tuscany won the War of Independence from the HRE. Well, unfortunately for you, Tuscany, I am here. Uh, and I might end up grabbing all your stuff. I was thinking our first goal as Venice, when we, when we put up our power, play tall a little bit. Go for Croatia. I think I think we have to. Take Croatia, take the south of Italy, and we'll start working. Um, well, we'll start working on, obviously, the, the Kingdom of Sicily, but up through that, I don't really want to attack the Pope, Pope. 
but we might not have a choice. Is this the... What is this? While the initial designs are adequate, my adequacy is not the place of one of my stature. I've put my smiths to work on the potential upgrades that I've been formed with the hopes that the final results can be improved further from the minimal designs at a minimum cost. And while the results have been adequate, the reports are indicating improvements in several key areas. Is that... What do you mean by that? Is that the, uh, the jewellery that we've had... I assume. I mean, there was, of course, the event in CK3, whereby you would randomly upgrade whatever you were crafting with your smiths. Uh, what is that? Your Oh, your feast. Right, got it. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Attending. There's us, Princess Michaela, French's better count monies of Venice. I remember her. Uh, we've got Jangelina Aeoli money. Countess Martina, Queen Demetra, Mayor Ugo, Ugo Nino, Don't, not another Ugo, and replacement Steve. And, uh, unfortunately, Princess Beatrice, our sister, declined the feast because she's a big coward. Oh, we got Eager Ravala, though. Oh, fantastic. Heresy in Strathclyde. Oh, no. Tragic, that. <laughs> oh, I feel like Catholicism's taken a real hit recently, huh? Oh, speak of the devil. Where are we going now? Jerusalem. My, mo my warriors were ready to fight, but I don't want it again. Please, don't, don't throw me under the bus. I feel like the cooldown on Great Holy Wars in CK3 is just irrelevant. It's just all the time, and it only takes 12 months to actually launch the war, too. This is the third crusade we've seen in this campaign so far, in essentially two generations as well. It's just insane. Well, thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, we might accidentally get back to Jerusalem. <laughs> ah, I'll be honest, I don't think I want it. Uh, there is an option, right, to go for the go for the war chest instead or something like that. Um, as I've been saying across kind of the series, uh, there's a coffee update, very significant. It involves everybody over at coffee. Uh, so if you haven't read it yet, go check it out. There's a video if you just want to listen to it. There's a brief summary at the top of the the kind of write-up if you're interested in that. But the full thing is seven pages, or at least it was on Google Docs before I transferred it over. So I go into a lot of detail about certain things that need discussing. So please go ahead and take a look at that whenever you are able to. Thank you in the meantime to our executive producers of the day, including D Money, Zulu, Mansgard, The Wizard Gandhi, Hoopaloop, Anastara, Galaxy Wolf, Amethyst, C, Goatfather, Kane, GB, Siltworm, Neo Zela, Sweet Sea, Shotgun Diplomacy, Alex, Dubinex, Jester, DKO, and Mr. MoMA for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. Thank you to those guys. And a thank you as well to Saint Raccoon, Magister Militant, Noobmeister, Gordy Number One, Rotten Flesh, Fernando Penna, Mohammed, Alvin Flang, Tabula Rasa, Warhawk, Geen to Blade, Cyber Monkey, Astros Fan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The Thick Mick, Ultra Spider 2000, Snow Lauger, Sweet Sea, Neil M, and Kato, along with everybody over at Coffee, of course, for making the channel possible. Go check that post out. You can spend five minutes reading it or 50 minutes, uh, depending on how brave you're feeling. See you all tomorrow.